Okay, now I'm back to my studio. Uh, I just did this uh, painting outside uh, with a blooming yellow iris in our backyard. Now I'm going to show you how do I finish this. I did put a um, very light background wash uh, as watercolor painting. And this is done on Chinese rice paper. It's a sized, it means a non-absorbent paper. Um, and you can get from our website, blueheronarts.com. The advantage of this is that it's very delicate. Uh, the texture is very uh, smooth and very sensitive to uh, all kinds of edges. And you can see the hard puddle edge and soft smearing. Um, it's uh, usually for the elaborated style or gombi fine line, but this one is uh, basically watercolor paint on rice paper. And we use uh, uh, this uh, silicone dry mounting paper. Uh, normally, you can you can uh, put the silicone on a watercolor piece of watercolor paper and then uh, release the the paper that uh, support the silicone film, and then uh, trans the, put the, the painting on top of that. That's called a fi uh, method B, which is uh, an easier approach. Uh, I'm going to show you a different one this, this time. Uh, although we use a, it's a dry mountain, but I still need to spray some water, and I should spray it uh, outside this uh, area, this iron area, so I will I put the painting on the uh, just you can I think you can still hear it. Yeah, just vertically again uh, on on the, uh, against the the sprayer. So I got a little mist, just a pinch of the, the water, and then uh, I put uh, this paper on, which is the release paper from a previous project. It's the backing of the silicone film. This uses a protecting sheet. It has a wax side. Let me see which side is this. So it's, it's anti-sticking because the back, the silicone paper has an extra margin here. It has uh, some st sticky film exposed. So if you don't have this paper, it will stick on the iron. Uh, this piece is a little smaller, so I have to move around. When I go to the bottom part, I have to move it. So I start from the top, like that. The iron is set to uh, temperature 180 Fahrenheit, but uh, you don't have to measure it. I, I just put uh, between wool and the uh, cotton. That's up, you know, and you just within that range, you can vary it according to your own home um, iron. It could be higher or lower, as long as you can activate the silicone silicone film. Let's see, this is the difficult part. So when when I lift this, I I change the side so this. Stickiness will not uh, causing any trouble on the painting. So I keep the. You should have a larger piece. I just didn't have precise one in hand. It should be a larger protecting sheets than the painting, so you don't have to worry about this part. So basically that's how easy it is. I don't really press that much, but you can if you like. Just uh, like a craft, everybody has different approach. So basically it's the temperature that's the work. And a little moisture will help to relax the wrinkles. And you can see that's how easy it is. Now you can see the intensity of the, the color has been um, and we ought, you know, the <coughs> enhanced, <coughs> excuse me, and this is the, the backside. Uh, when you, when you 
ready to frame, uh, you can peel the backing paper off and then iron it again on a um, on the museum board or um, watercolor paper or drawing paper, which is uh, acid free. It could be uh, multimedia paper, uh, Bristol Bristol paper, that kind of thing. Uh, so there, we also sell a backing paper, which is designed for uh, permanent backing. It's a cotton, 100% cotton acid free with a teeth that holds the uh, the painting better than uh, this, you know, a uh, uh, foam board. So the foam board won't work because it's too slippery. I usually don't don't uh, iron on the back, but you could if you want. So, uh, sometimes you know when you make the the back flat, then the the front might have problems. So this part is more important. As long as the film adhere to the painting, um, you're fine. So it doesn't look at any wrinkle uh, on this side. That's that's good. Okay. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.